When I heard the name Hospice um, before I came here, I think I had uh, the image of this is where, you, if you've a serious illness such as cancer, or by terminal illness, this is where you come to die. Uh, my impression was it was possibly a, a depressing place, a place where family and loved ones were reluctant to, to come down, reluctant maybe to let their loved ones be here. But my impression now is it's entirely different from that. They didn't know this, this existed in fact, and uh, it's been an eye-opener to me and it's how, how good it is. As a result of cancer, I had a fall and I was paralysed from just above the waist downwards. Um, there was a tumour pressing in my spine and uh, that caused that. It was a bit of a shock to me because I was a very active person. Having been told that I wasn't going to walk again, I decided I'm going to try and walk again. Um, and it was one night I was lying in bed and I decided to get up and I had a, a contraction that um, the carers used to get me from bed to chair and to shower etc. And I said, well, it's got wheels and it's got handles, I'm going to see if I can walk with this thing. So, completely on my own, I took a few steps with this uh, thing called a steady and uh, walked around my bedroom, flopped back into my bed, rather elated because I'd walked six or seven steps, which I'd never thought I'd do before. And I came into the hospice on Friday and I told them this and they were uh, amazed. Um, and I told the physiotherapists and they were completely overwhelmed and there was lots of hugs and kisses. Since that time, they've helped me leaps and bounds. They've given me special exercises. I attended a, a special course, um, a well, well-being course on a Tuesday with um, one of the physios who specialises in getting people like myself up on their feet. And um, she was a great, great help. It was a girl called Heather. And um, she helped me very, very much. Without the physios here, I wouldn't be walking the way I am just now. So I'm really grateful to them all. I think the, the main thing, the main impact that the hospice has had on me is a, a kind of self-confidence, um, a feeling that I'm not alone in the world, that people do care, that um, people want to care. That's a, sometimes you think that you're just a, a cog in the machinery and then that nobody's really interested in you, but when you come down here, you are important and you are number one and uh, that's that's really important to me. My family really like it because they know that I've been looked after, they know that um, my two daughters have been down here, they've seen the, the arrangement and they have really really liked it and um, it was a lovely day when they were down, we walked down the garden and uh, it was a beautiful day there, it was sunny and they thought this was a perfect place to come down for uh, for a day out um, every Friday so everyone was really positive about it. Everyone that I've met here is a friend and a good friend. Um, we only see each other on the Friday, but that creates a bond and it's, it's difficult to describe. In the year that I've been here, I've lost five friends and that's very difficult. As I say, you only meet them once a week, but you become very, very close. And uh, everyone that I meet on the Friday is a really close friend and all of them deeply. The staff are so caring, they're so loving, um, they want to do everything for you. Um, they give you a sense of belonging, they give you something to strive for, they give you something to look forward to and uh, that's very important to people like myself.